Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to root and install TWRP in Samsung Galaxy S23 using the easiest method possible. And the best part, we will do it without using the boot IMG method. This step by step guide is perfect for beginners and guaranteed to be the easiest method out there. Make sure you stay around till the end so you don't miss anything important. Now, let's start. First, let me show you the current Android and one UI version on this Samsung Galaxy S23. As you can see, it's running on Android 14 with One UI 6.1. The great thing about this method is that it will work for all One UI versions. So you are good to go no matter what you are running on your device. And guys, just a head up. This method is specifically for the version you can see on the screen. Make sure your device matches these models before proceedings. Now before we dive in, I want to give full credit to the amazing XD developer who made this routing process so easy. Huge thanks to them for simplifying the step for everyone. Alright, to root any Samsung device, uh, the first step is unlocking the bootloader. To do that, go to the settings, about phone and tap on build number 7 times. Until you see option, the developer option is enabled. Here we need to enable two things, OEM unlock and USB debugging option. First enable OEM unlock. This is required because it allows the bootloader to be unlocked. Once that's done, make sure to enable the developer option as well. Now both the options are enabled. Uh, guys, just for safety, it's a good idea to remove any Samsung or Google account, as well as any pin or pattern lock you have. While this step isn't mandatory, but it can help prevent potential issues during the unlocking process. Once you have completed this preparation, we can proceed to unlock the bootloader. First, connect your device with the PC and restart it. Once the Samsung logo disappears, press and hold both volume up and volume down buttons simultaneously. Now release the button when you see a warning message about custom OS appear. Here press and hold volume up button for a few seconds to, uh, to boot the device into the uh, bootloader unlocking wizard. Here you will see options to unlock the bootloader or restart the phone. Since we want to unlock the bootloader to root Samsung without boot IMG, press the volume up button. Please note, this process will wipe all your data, so make sure to back up anything important before proceeding. Once you press the volume up button, the bootloader and logging process will begin. Your phone will automatically restart and you will see a message confirming that bootloader is being unlocked. Now wait for the phone to boot up. Now the device is up and running. Let's confirm if the bootloader is unlocked or not. So, to do this, uh, we need to enable the developer option again. Here is the developer option. So, let's open it. Guys, you will notice that OEM unlock option is no longer available. Uh, to get it back, simply connect your phone with the Wi Fi or mobile network. Once connected, OEM unlock option should appear in the developer option. My phone is connected to Wi Fi, and as you can see, OEM unlocking option is back with the message uh, bootloader already unlocked meaning the process was successful. Now that the bootloader is unlocked and we are ready to install TWRP recovery and gain a uh, full root access. So let's move on to the PC screen. On PC, you will need to download three important files. I will provide a direct link in the description below so you can download it from there. First, extract both the zip files. Once extracted, you can delete the zip file to keep your workspace clean. Next, let's install the Samsung drivers. Double click on the downloaded driver file to install it. It's a simple process, just click next a few times and you are done. I have already installed them on my PC, so I will skip this step. Now, let's open Ordin. Uh, the tool we will use to flash the user data file. So in order to locate the user data file section and click on it. And here uh, select the downloaded user data file. You will notice two options, no wipe and force wipe. I recommend choosing the force wipe option for the clean installation. Once everything is set up, it's time to connect your phone with the PC. But before that, we need to put our phone into download mode. To do this, follow the same process as before. Restart the device and press and hold the volume up and volume down button together. 
But this time when the warning screen appears, simply press the volume up button once uh, to boot the phone into the download mode. Now as you can see, our device is successfully boots up into the download mode. Uh, next, let's head over to Ordain on your PC. In Ordain, you should see a status say added, which confirms that your phone is successfully connected. Once that's done, simply press the start button in Ordain to begin the installation. The process will only take a few seconds. Once completed, your phone will automatically reboot into TWRP recovery three times in a row. This is completely normal process, so don't worry. Let's wait for the process to finish and then we will move on to the final steps. So file is now flashed successfully and our phone is restarting. During this process, you might see some error and warning pop-ups. Don't worry, you can simply ignore those. Now the device is automatically boots up into TWRP recovery and start running some scripts. This is completely normal, so let it be happen. It might take a little while, but for the sake of this video, I am going to fast forward this process to save the time. Alright, after completing all the restart, the phone has finally booted into TWRP recovery. Here click on install and click on magisk. Uh, it is preloaded with the user data file. Simply flash this magisk file to root Samsung S23. Magisk is now flashed successfully. Uh, now go back and click on wipe and then click on format data. And here type yes to format all the data. This step is essential for ensuring everything runs smoothly. So make sure don't skip it. Now go back, uh, click on reboot and then recovery. It will reboot the device again into the TWRP recovery. Next click on the reboot option but this time uh, choose system. The device will now boots up into the normal mode. Since we have formatted our device, it might take a little time to boots up. So I will fast forward it here. So our device is successfully booted up. You will notice that the Magisk app is pre-installed. Uh, but when we open this Magisk app, uh, it is asking for the update. So uh, we need to update it manually. So let me quickly download and install the update. Now that Magisk app is updated, let's open it. And here as you can see Magisk is installed and version is 28. But if we check the root access using the root checker basic app, it is still showed that the device is not ordered yet. So let's confirm this. So I have installed root checker basic app. And here as you can see it show device is not ordered yet. This is because we need to update the Magisk first. So let's open Magisk. Here tap on the update button and select direct install and then let's go. Uh, now it is asking to reboot the device uh, so go ahead and reboot it. The device has now successfully booted up. Let's confirm if the device is rooted or not. And yes as you can see there is no update option available which means Magis is fully updated. Now let's confirm in the root checker basic app. And yes, as you can see root access is granted, which means our device is now successfully routed and ready to go. Alright guys, that's it for this video on how to root Samsung Galaxy S23 and install TWRP without using the boot IMG method. I hope this guide was helpful and made the process easy for you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any question or facing any issues, uh, feel free to leave in the comment below. I will happy to help. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Darvis signing off.